Welcome to our channel, Love Ireland. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Today we explore the question. Why was Nina Castle built? Nina Castle was built as a fortress and to lay the foundation of the town of Nina in the 13th century. The castle was built by Theobald Fitzwalter, whose successors would become earls and dukes of Ormond. Upon its completion around 1220, it served as the main seat of the Butler family. The keep of the castle formed part of the perimeter of the fortress being part of the curtain walls surrounding a five-sided courtyard. It is one of the finest cylindrical keeps in Ireland. The castle is a medieval building and has stone spiral stairs with 101 steps all the way to the top. A passageway within the base of the wall provides access to the tower. Be aware that there is very low head room and you will need to stoop to avoid hitting the stone above. The castle has had extensive renovations from 2009 to completion in June 2013. Free admission and free guided tours are available on request. With a population of 7,995, Nina is the largest town in North Tipperary. It is part of the historical barony of Ormond Lower which was the traditional territory of the O'Kennedys prior to the Norman invasion. This land for the town was included in the grant made by King John of England to Theobald, eldest son of Hervé Walter of Lancashire, England. Theobald was subsequently appointed chief butler of Ireland. In around 1217, Nina Castle was built as the main castle of the Butler family before they moved to Gowran, County Kilkenny, later in the 14th century. Nina is strategically situated on the banks of the Nina River. The Nina River flows and empties into Loch Derg at Dromanir, 9 km to the northwest. Loch Derg is a popular center for sailing and water sports. To the south of the town lies the Silver Mines mountain range with the highest peak, Keeper Hill, at 694 meters. Nina is easily accessible from the R4 for 5 regional road network which links it to the M7 providing high quality access to the cities of Limerick and Dublin. The town is thus easily reachable by car or by bus. Nina train station sits on the main Limerick to Bally Brophy trail line and passengers can connect at Bally Brophy with trains heading northeast to Dublin or southwest to Cork. Also conveniently close is Shannon Airport, located approximately one hour from Nina. Dublin Airport two and a half hours and Cork Airport approximately two hours. So there is no excuse, you should visit soon. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Love Ireland. And don't forget to hit the bell notification.